hey what's up everybody so I wanted to do a quick video on triggers versus workflows okay so let's think about the triggers in this type of way the triggers are like uh, let's say like a bear trap okay as soon as a certain thing happens as soon as a certain event happens then it activates the trigger and the trigger has a couple of things that happens right sent that was the first version of REI reply and it's still good in certain instances right um, but what they've done since then is transferred over to workflows which I'm going to show you why okay so let's look at the triggers so this is like a new account okay this is a this is how your account would look if you got it brand new okay so what you can see here is that they have a, a couple of triggers and we have the DNC trigger right that contains the phrase cancel and when it says when they say cancel or when they respond with the phrase cancel in there then it's going to remove from all the campaigns it's going to add the contact tag DNC it's going to set the contact for DND for all channels but um, you can specify that too whether it's going to be for all channels um, or you're going to disable it for all channels enable it for specific channels and that allows you to get kind of a more detailed view so if you wanted to do just calls or SMS email Facebook or Google my business right so you can get really detailed on what you wanted to do there right so I'm going to make that let's go for uh, it was enabled for all channels was there and then remove the contact tag replied um, and then we're also going to add into the DNC pipeline and mark the conversation as read marking the conversation as read is one of those things that you want to make sure that's included in there in order to cut down on the stress okay if you work a nine to five or you text a lot of people throughout the day what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of responses from these people and you're not going to have the time or even want to like go through all of the stuff right so <clears throat> those are the triggers right and let me actually go back I don't care about that but so for the triggers what you'll see is that it has a DNC for cancel it has a DNC for quit stop unsubscribe right and it's the same thing for the numbers the numbers you have wrong number with the hashtag as the response um, wrong number here with a replacement trigger a wrong number removal wrong number tag added and then wrong number with a period so if they just say wrong number with the period there okay so all of those work fine not a problem but when they introduce workflows then you can actually add or combine a lot of those into one sequence so then now you don't have to create each trigger for each kind of response so I'm going to show you those and this is where you want to set you want to set this up so that this is reducing the stress right it's reducing the amount of stuff you don't want to see in the conversations okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, to the workflows, right? And so what I have my workflows, I have some under what I have a folder called called dispositions, right? So what that's going to do for you, right, is we're going to combine everything. So on that DNC it was uh, stop it was cancel it was a couple of things like that right so on this one here 
I have a couple of different entry points and you can keep adding different ones here that's going to trigger this workflow so you can see why the workflows are preferred over the triggers because now you can create all those different DNC tags in one single workflow so if I track if I tag them as troll right if they just want too much money or they're rude or they respond back with like a crazy message then I just put them as troll and they enter this workflow okay if they have correct DNC so if they're the correct phone number but they don't want to be contacted anymore right so they say not interested don't call me again right we want to make sure that we separate those because the DNC that we're not sure of that's a whole different category right but the DNC that we do know of maybe in you know three six months or so it might be interested okay so we got correct DNC and then we have just DNC tag added so I have two DNC tags there not sure why but I'm gonna save that right and so now what happens every time one of those three things happen okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the assigned user the reason why I do that is because I switch the phone numbers every well you are supposed to check them to make sure they're not on the spam list when they do show up as spam then they get removed and then we add in new phone numbers so we're going to remove that assigned user because they can uh, text the same person a couple months down the road under a different phone number though okay so we're going to remove that assigned user we're going to set the contact as DD for all channels right so we don't want to contact them by accident or add them into another workflow and if we do add them into another workflow this is going to prevent us from calling or texting them in the future right so that's going to save us some money right there then we're going to go to note and the only thing I put in there is DNC. I'm going to put in here uh, the right now. So I'm going to put in the, the date that that happened. Okay. And then so now I know the date of the DNC. So if I wanted to contact later on, right, I know when to do that. Let me hit save. And then mark as red. Remember, that's one of those ones that's going to stop it from showing up on the conversations and to save you a lot of time. Okay. And then I'm going to add that to the DNC pipeline. Right. So now that's out of my way. I won't see it. I won't uh, read it because the conversation is done. There's a note on there too. And we're ready to go to the next thing. Right. So just imagine everybody who comes in and they say something wild or they say dnc um take me off your list anything like that now they automatically get added here and you don't see it okay so you're going to need a couple of different sets of those right so you're going to need one where somebody straight up curse you out right so they're going to say you know one variation of these okay if they do, you don't necessarily want to spend too much time talking to those people, right? I don't. So I'm going to add in a not interested tag or I'm going to have a what if scenario here or if then scenario. So if the not interested tag uh, is added, then it's going to go over here and I'm going to remove it from the campaign. I'm going to update the disposition to not interested I'm going to add in a note right that lets you know exactly why they're on that list there. and then I'm going to do all these things too I'm going to remove the assigned user because again we will switch those phone numbers in the future and we don't have to worry about you know 
the rapport building aspect of this person, right? All right, we're gonna add in the tag of not interested. We're gonna edit that conversation. We're gonna mark it as red, right? Again, that's a time saver, right? Then we're gonna remove it from the workflows. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of though, when you remove it from the workflows, be careful that you're not hitting this one here, okay? If you remove it from the current workflow, what happens is any steps that you have after remove all the workflows get skipped because you're removing it. Remember, the program is, is smart, but it's stupid. So if you tell it to leave the workflow, no matter what you put underneath here, it's going to automatically leave, right? So let me make sure I put that and then save, right? So... You need the DNC, you need the curse word, one, whatever variations you wanna put on that. You want the not interested as well, okay? Then we have one for on market. I don't really wanna deal with on market properties too much. Uh, we have one for sold, right? And we also have one for wrong number. Now, the stop should be for uh, contain the DNC but I'll make sure to check that but also the wrong number so out of all the phone numbers if you text a thousand people out of those thousand people you're gonna get more wrong number and not interested responses than anything else so just having those two set in place will save you a, a bunch of time I mean as you can see right the, the two the three highest ranked here that get activated the most are the wrong number at 808 so far right then we have the not interested at 749 and then the dnc at 818 so all those times i was able to avoid reading those messages or even touching those Right? And that's where the workflows are separate from the triggers. You can still have some triggers for certain events, right? Things that happen and you know it only needs one or two steps or something like that. But if you need anything more complicated with weight features or if then scenarios, you use workflows every single time. All right. So I hope that was a good explanation of the difference for you guys. Um, Please check out more videos, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. I'll keep on bringing more how-tos to you guys. And check out the links below. You know, I might be able to help you out with your system. So check me out. Thanks so much.